subscribe to Go Doctor Who. And if you don't, then you can go. Hello guys, you're watching Go Doctor Who, and today is a special video. Um, it's an idea, um, it's not completed, it's just basically me telling you a story or some ideas towards a story, which would be a good Titan comic uh, to they could do. Uh, it would only work with Titan comics because it, it involves Sarah Jane Smith and the Sarah Jane Adventures, Torchwood and Doctor Who together. And of course, Sarah Jane has sadly passed away, so it would never work on TV. And it would never work, probably with Big Finish, because the, the voice as well. So it would only work with Titan Comics, if they could ever do permission for this. Um, I am going to say, I did go to um, George Mann, who wrote Titan Comics, uh, quite a lot of Titan Comics, and does well. Uh, I met him at my first ever convention, and I tried to give him my story idea. Uh, but he weren't allowed to listen to any of it. He said he's contracted and agents say he's not allowed just in case he he says he's used some of my ideas and it um, may get copyrighted or whatever. But he's not allowed to use people's ideas. So he didn't want to hear my story idea, but he wished me luck on it. And then um, I never really pursued it and it's probably never going to get out there. So I may do, might as well just do a video on my idea. Um, it's been a while since I revisited this idea, so I have lost memory of certain stuff, and I did go into detail, I've lost that piece of paper now, I ripped down the story idea from the start of the story and the end of the story, but there was a gap in the middle, and there's still a gap, there's probably more of a gap now, with me not being able to remember what I meant for the story to happen, what, what I meant to happen in the story, sorry, but yeah. Let's just get into it. It involves Torchwood, Cybermen, Master, and Sarah Jane and the Twelfth Doctor. So this uh, episode is set before the Eaters, it, after the Eaters of Light, where Missy is tra uh, traveling in the TARDIS, uh, and we all, it was also set just before the finale of Series Twelve. However, events will come to play. Um, so basically, this. Um, this um, story starts off with Sarah Jane and her fr and her children. They're a bit more grown up. But still, you've got Sky. You've got um, you've got the two Irani, and you've got um, I've forgotten his name, Clyde. You've got them them with uh, Sarah Jane, and they are going out to basically get these alien detecting. Uh, Mister Smith has said um, there's this alien detection in this warehouse. And they've Sarah Jane Adventures have gone to investigate the alien detection and um, them signals and all that. And they suddenly reveal there's the John Sim Master with Cybermen, Mondastian Cybermen. They're not as clunky, they're not as that, they're Mondastian Cybermen. And the Master is working and retweaking the Cybermen and he's going to make an army and rule the earth, basically. Um, Basically, that happens, but also we've got Gwen and Captain Jack locked up, and um, John, obviously John Sims dealt with them, and they're locked up, and they're ready to be turned into Mondastian Cybermen. Ooh, and we've got Tor the le what's left of Torchwood at this point, and um, basically um, Sarah Jane, somehow, I wasn't planning on writing this story, there are bits of my memory that's gone on how this works, but the writer who I'd work with would add stuff in, obviously. And that's why I'd expect the writer to work out how they get Captain Jack and Gwen out. But they somehow, Sarah Jane uh, team managed to get Captain Jack and Gwen out, and the Cybermen start sh uh, shooting them and after them, and the master's shouting, get them, and all that uh, jazz. And then... Uh, Gwen, Captain Jack and the Sarah Jane team managed to get to uh, the attic uh, where Mr Smith is and they show Mr Smith and you go duh, 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 and he's all out and stuff like that and then there is a sudden message for the trickster and the trickster has appeared on a hologram sort of thing and um, is basically confronting Sarah Jane and there's a little bit of a rival there I did do a comic book little scene, but I completely forgot what the conversation would hold and say. But there we go. 
uh, they're having a confrontation anyway, Sarah Jane and the trickster. And then we have Captain Jack going, who the hell's a trickster? And then when uh, the trickster starts um, spitballing at Captain Jack, they have a little bit of confrontation there. And then the flashback appears and it all makes sense why the trickster's there, why the master's there, Mondasi and Sidemen are there. It's because basically Missy killed um, John Sim. He's dying, he's falling, he, he, he's down the escalator, he's laughing, he's going ha 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 ha, and he's breaking out. But we never see him regenerate. We never see him get to his TARDIS. And he's fighting the Cybermen, he's getting through these Cybersh people, and he's got to his TARDIS. And we see his TARDIS, we finally get to see the Master's TARDIS, that's what I've wanted to see in, top, in comic book form, of seeing that TARDIS. And the Master's going, ah. Oh, I will not regenerate into Missy. She tricked me. Ah, and he's, 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 he's holding on. He doesn't want to change into Missy. And then obviously his body and his cells are changing. And then suddenly the trickster appears and starts contemplating with the master, trying to make the master do a deal with the trickster. And the trickster is coming to the master at his last breath, holding on not to turn into Missy. And of course, the master doesn't want to turn good. He doesn't want to help Missy, to uh, help the doctor. So he's holding on. He doesn't want the future to happen. And the trickster's taunting him and twisting him in his ear and going, "Join me. I can make a deal with you." And the master agrees. He finally agrees after a little bit of confrontation. He agrees, but first he wants a spitball idea. He said, actually, can we take some of these Mondasian Cybermen with us? We yeah, land on Earth, the Mondasian Cybermen are getting tweaked up and stuff like that. The trickster's disappeared, and he's feeding off the Master, reliving and ready to destroy Earth and destroy Sarah Jane Smith one last time. Um, yeah, and the Master disappears. Um, and he will reappear throughout the story, of course. Uh, but he's feeding off the master being alive and the Cybermen, of course. And then we have um, the flashback ending there, leading us to know why the master's here, why the Cybermen are here and why the trickster's here. I would love the master to be taunted and actually with contact with the trickster. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, the, mas uh, the trickster disappears on the hologram after one last cackle and laugh and say this will be your end Sarah Jane and all that jazz and then he disappears and then Mr Smith goes warning um, TARDIS in flux and the TARDIS suddenly lands and 12 bursts out the TARDIS and goes Sarah I need your help and then bam we're, uh, that kind of leads ends there with my idea of the beginning of the story uh, but there is a little bit later on in the story where um, 12 finally meets Captain Jack and they're having a bit of confrontation because he's got the same face as Furbisher, but 12 has nothing to do with that idea. He doesn't know why that's a thing. He's like, oh, well, that's nice. Um, talk to me later about it, Captain. Let's come on. We need, we got work to do. And uh, Bill is asking questions because it's her thing. And Nardell's like, well, I must keep Missy unchecked, and he stays in the TARDIS, and we've got Nardal staying in the TARDIS with Missy, and Missy's like, oh, what's happening here? And, um, oh, come on, I've been trapped in here for several weeks now, I'm bored, I need to find out what's happening. But she's trapped in the TARDIS, like a force field, like a hologram, she cannot get out the TARDIS, and Missy uh, needs to do work, so she, the Twelfth Doctor said, Right, I'm trusting you. I need you. To, I need to let you out, and I need you to work with um, Mr. Smith over there. When me and Sarah get to work, and then Missy comes out the TARDIS. She's been let out the TARDIS with that um, that lockdown. She's been locked in the TARDIS for several weeks now. She's finally got out, and she's all sassy. And then she meets Sarah Jane, and Sarah Jane suddenly gets an urge to ask who that is, and Missy goes and says it's the Master. And when we have that dynamic um, with uh, Missy versus Sarah Jane and they come together and loggerheads and then Captain Jack's like, 
So you finally travelled with uh, with him then. Mm-hmm. You finally captured him because obviously in series three, we had um, basically the master, John Sim, was almost going to be trapped in the TARDIS. Uh, just like this dynamic I had with Missy trapped in the TARDIS with the 12th Doctor. The 10th Doctor was going to have John Sim trapped in the TARDIS, but he didn't want that to happen. So John Sim killed himself, basically, and not stopped him from regenerating. But yeah, basically we have a little bit of a dig from Captain Jack to Missy, the Master. And you have another confrontation with Missy and Sarah Jane. Uh, the kids suddenly are in danger, Sarah Jane feels, and tells them. She fully is uh, on anger mode and scare. She just tells the kids to go and Sky to stay with uh, Rani and Clyde. And then they just go off because it's safer for them to get out. However... They get taken by Cybermen, leading them in with one cliffhanger for one of the comic books and then lead into another comic book um, strip to continue in next week's issue or whatever you want to call it or episode. But yeah, the Cybermen have upgraded Rani, Clyde and Sky, and they've been turned. Sarah Jane doesn't know it at this point. She will find out later on. I'm not sure how that will happen, but it will. Um, we also have... Um, Sarah Jane, 12, because I'd love them to meet, that'd be incredible, Captain Jack, um, to go off, and we have Gwen, of course, with them, and then, um, Gwen will obviously say some words, but I can't remember what I'd get her to say, but I think she'd work well in this story, and she'd help Captain Jack keep on track, uh, at this point, I'm not sure what will happen in between, but Cybermen will cause chaos, Sarah Jane will be upset, because, all her friends have turned into Cybermen. We have to have we would have to reverse this process. And of course, it's because the master made a deal with the trickster. Uh, Cybermen are upgrading themselves, returning themselves into different versions of the Cybermen. They are upgrading humanity and it's all down to them. And we have a lot of mishmash of uh, one at one point. Uh, 12 and Captain Jack, then it's 12 and Sarah, why other people are doing other stuff, and we all have that. But I'm going to skip to the end of the story now, because I'm not sure how the rest of the story would happen. I would have to sit down and spitball some ideas. But I've thought of the beginning of the story and the end. Of course, there's a lot of intriguing plot points that need to be thorough and refreshed. But um, it's been a while since I wrote this story, about four to five years literally I've had this story in my head um but then it changed because series 10 came about and I added bits and then it come a bit more of a structured story in my head and then when series 12 was out I had the idea and I went to George Mann and asked him about the story but he couldn't look at it and then I lost the piece of paper because I kind of give up hope with this story until today but I decided I'm going to make a video on it so there is a complete gap and what will happen, how the Cybermen take over and stuff. But yeah, let's just get to the ending now. So the ending is basically um, where we have um, 12th Doctor realising the Master will do what he always does. He will backstab his allies, and he's going to backstab the Trickster. And when he backstabs the Trickster, it reverses the process. The Cybermen that all the people got upgraded by Cybermen get reversed back to humans. So Sarah Jane gets her friends back, and she's all happy about that. And the backstab and Trickster's done. The deal is off. And um, Trickster's like, ah, I will get you, Sarah Jane, for this, and disappears to the next time. Uh, then we have um, the Master versus Missy confrontation. You again. And he starts doing that, and Missy has no idea who he is at this point. Uh, she has some idea, because she obviously couldn't remember because of what happens in the series 10 finale. They didn't recognise each other then that much. She remembered him vaguely, and the Master was irritated by that and stuff like that. You can't remember me, but you've killed me and stuff like that. And give him future knowledge, which obviously Missy will forget, because it's her future self and all the timeline and stuff. But yeah. We have that confrontation. Then we have John Sim slowly disappearing, but going one last chuckle at the Doctor and going, uh, at one last chuckle at the fact that Missy will never turn good and um, that he kills her and she knows that will come. 
Um, we also have another dynamic where Bill will be upgraded in the story, but she's fighting it. Uh, we learn that she's fighting it off. Yet again, linking in, we're going to get a flashback to the monks, the monk trilogy, where her mind will be able to strong enough to hold uh, the monks off. Uh, with that mind probe thing going on in the series 10 uh, midway finale, we call it. Anyway, the monks with her mind holding that off and the, uh, with Bill holding off as a sideman, we learn that Bill's mind is powerful and we get the re reason for that when she's holding off the sidemen this time around. Um, of course, all this never happened. Everyone's forgetting and everything gets back to normal. Captain Jack and Gwen disappear. Taught, uh, Sarah Jane and the gang go off and um, uh, 12 and Sarah have a nice little goodbye moment and Jack goes off and then suddenly we see them forget what happened of this whole adventure because it never really happened because uh, the trickster is gone and John Sims' character has disappeared. Um, before he does disappear though, he has one last dig at the Doctor and saying, the Cybermen are coming for you, Doctor. And the Cybermen and me are your future. And he's giving a little twig and taunt to the Twelfth Doctor. Just as he laughs and cackles away, he disappears. And we see John Sim back in, in the Master's TARDIS and going, fine, I accept it. Let's bring the future. And then he regenerates. The TARDIS blows up. And we see Missy's face and we cut there because we're going to taunt you. We're going to see, uh, we don't see what happens to the Master's Titus. We don't see a lot of this uh, for Series 8, Series 9 and Series 10. We don't see a lot of Missy's future. But I'm going to give you the regeneration. we we'll are allow that. We've always wanted to see John Sim turn into Missy. We finally get that in this comic book. Missy and the Master transforming their face in that comic book sketch. And Missy's face appears and it cuts there for the Master. Then we have 12 going off uh, with Missy, Nardell and Bill and they go off in the times together and Bill goes, where now? The 12 Doctor goes to the future and to be continued for another adventure to happen. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I know it's going to be lacking idea and structure and stuff like that. But I, had, I, I really enjoyed this story. I thought, oh, that would be such a good thing if we could finally get... 12th Doctor and Sarah Jane, 12th Doctor and Captain Jack and that Torchwood dynamic, why does the 12th Doctor face? We have Master and Missy again because that worked so well in Series 12 and then we have Mondas and Cybermen and the Trickster and the Master, I thought that'd be a brilliant idea, the Master being taunted, you don't have to regenerate, come with me, the Trickster's that and then obviously the Master's going to backstab the Trickster, it would obviously happen like that and that reversing the process anyway so then the master loses anyway and the 12th doctor knew that the master would backstab the trickster anyway uh the the cliffhangers of sarah jane's friends being upgraded bill being upgraded again but showing why her mind is so powerful in the mon uh, the monk trilogy and the finale to withhold her being transformed and turned into cybermen or fighting against the monk's mind I'd love that to be revealed. There's a lot of stuff, I think, are good ideas for this story to happen and why it should happen in the Titan comics because it could only work with Titan comics. However, it won't happen because I don't know anyone that could help get this comic book happening or someone to sketch it or whatever and add bits to this story to make it a good story. I've got loads of spitball ideas, but it's not a story. It is a jumbled of ideas out but you know i really enjoyed these ideas and i'd love them to come true but it would never happen i went to george Mann, who was one of the titan comics and he wasn't allowed uh, to read because he's contracted and don't want to take ideas so i understand that and i've just accepted this comic book will never happen however i tried making my own of it but it didn't turn out well and i just left it and completely forgot there's loads more ideas i had to this story I forgot it because it's been a couple of years since series 10 and beyond that. So yeah, that's my idea of a Doctor Who story anyway. Uh, did you like my story? Did you think it would work in between series finale and the Eaters of Light? 
Did you like my ideas with the one that's in Simon, the master, John Sims master, coming back one last time and then regenerating to Missy? Did you like the tricks and masters dynamic? And did you enjoy um, the companions meet up and talk with Sarah Jane meeting up? Anyway, that's my idea. That's my thoughts on uh, it. And yeah, I've got plenty of videos to come. There's no more story ideas. This is my only story I've ever thought of. And I've really enjoyed to actually let it out, even if it's not in the best process and explaining it is not the best way. But I've enjoyed this story. So yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, listen to the doctor's orders at the start of the video. I'd love it if we could get to 150 subscribers before the end of the year. We're almost at 100 in a way. I'd love it if we could get to 100 as well. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And did you enjoy my idea? I will see you guys for the next video.